Erica. I'm going to take you through five ab exercises that are safer for your lower back. If, however, you feel any bit of pain, please stop immediately and talk to your medical physician. The first exercise we're going to do is the partial crunch. This is a great one to do instead of sit-ups. You're going to bring one knee up, one leg down, bring your hands underneath the small part of your back to support your low back. Now you're going to engage your muscles and lift up just to about 15 degrees, not that high, and lower down. You don't want to go too high because then you're using more of your legs than you are your abs. Holding each one up for about five seconds, focusing on squeezing your abs. After about 30 seconds, you can switch legs and repeat up. Look at the ceiling, engage those abs, lower down. Repeat 30 seconds, and we'll go to the second exercise. The second exercise we're going to do is a side bridge or a side plank. You're going to go on one forearm, make sure the elbow is right underneath the shoulder, and one long line from the top of your head to your knees, feet back. You can place your hand on your hip, or you can feel your oblique to see if it's on fire as you lift up from the bottom hip, using your abs to lift you up as high as you can go. Hold it for about five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. And if you want more of a challenge, you can bring this to plank, top leg over bottom, and hold this position for about five seconds, three, two, one, and lower down, and lift back up. Keep repeating these about 15 times or for about 30 seconds, and then switch sides. Again, creating that long line, elbow right underneath the shoulder, feet back, bring it up, using your other oblique to fire, and lift those hips up. Again, we're going for that neutral spine, and then down. The third exercise is the bird dog. You're gonna go onto all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, and knees right underneath those hips. This one's mostly about balance, so you're gonna go nice and slow as you extend one arm and one leg out. You'll feel your torso twist, so you gotta engage those abs so you don't move and lowering down. You could also check in the mirror to make sure that you have a straight spine and then bring the other arm and leg out, hold for about 10 seconds and then back together. For a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring one arm and leg out and then this time touch the opposite elbow to the knee as you curve your spine and then extend out. It's a little bit more of an instability, so it kind of forces you to use those abs a little bit more. Extend out, try to create a line. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, touch. And exhale. Back together. Repeat for about 30 seconds to a minute. The last two exercises, we're gonna use an exercise ball. So you're gonna extend your back across the ball and then plant those feet down, heels into the ground. Bring the hands up to your temples instead of behind your head so that it forces you to pull up with the crunch instead of using your neck. Looking up at the ceiling for about five seconds and lowering down. Repeat for about 30 seconds to a minute and then we're gonna go to the next exercise. For our last ab exercise, we're gonna extend our stomach on the ball. Arms can hang down or hold the sides of your ball and you're gonna tuck your toes in so that your toes are supporting you on the ground. As you breathe in, I want you to just tuck those glutes in, use your abs, and hold up for about five seconds. Straight spine, so not hyper extending your spine, but straight spine, lowering down. To really feel this one, you have to engage those abs. So that's your only focus. The tendency will be to use your arms to help pull you up, so I want your arms to just hang by your sides or lightly touch the ball. So that you're using your abs, not your arms. And lift up, repeat for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then we're finished. Thanks for watching.
for our last ab, ab exercise. <laughs>